Were you looking forward to new video cards? Well, too bad. <laughs> because they might be canceled. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by VIPCDKDeals.com. CDK Deals is a website dedicated to getting you the best prices on games and software, and right now you can get a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for an insanely low price. Just find the best price and apply my special discount code GPC20 for an additional 30% off. You can also check out securely with PayPal, and once the payment is cleared, you should get access to the code both in your account as well as in your email. In order to activate the new copy of Windows 10, just search Activate Under Windows and type in your key. So if you want to learn more, be sure to click the link in the description below. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I got a huge update for you guys today. A ton of stories to go over, so let's get right into this one without wasting any more time. And the first thing we got to talk about is a little, a little oopsie, a little ooh. AMD made a little bit of a mistake here, guys, because it looks like they might be missing their performance targets with their upcoming GPUs. That's right, we're having more issues with RDNA 3 GPUs, at least according to some tweets from a quote-unquote leaker over on Twitter who goes by the name of All The Watts, which by the way, I'll give you guys a disclaimer. I think this is a somewhat new Twitter account. I haven't seen a ton of leaks from him yet, so I can't 100% verify that what he's saying is true, so definitely take it with a grain of salt. But according to him, here's what he had to say about AMD's upcoming GPUs. This started all the way back on December 2nd of 2022, where he said, quote, N33 average performance is around equal to RX 6750 XT, and the max performance could be as high as the RX 6800. And then actually on January 24th of 2023, he said, no achieve, and then followed it up by stating N33 is now less than 6750 XT, and it's actually going to be greater or equal to the 6650 XT. And guys, I'm going to lose my mind because yes, that is definitely going to be falling short of their performance expectations. So if you were hoping that AMD was going to save you from Nvidia this time around, <laughs> Yeah, it looks like that's not going to be the case because if they're falling short of their performance expectations and they still want to make a lot of margin on their parts, it's very unlikely that the price to performance is going to be significantly better on AMD's mid to entry level GPUs than what NVIDIA is going to be offering. Now, I know that sounds ludicrous because what NVIDIA is offering, I'm sure, is just going to be laughable. I'm sure that we're going to get like a 4060 for like $10,000 at this point. I mean, my love. Lord, NVIDIA has gone absolutely insane with the pricing on their graphics cards. Realistically, where do I expect the 4060 to fall? Probably somewhere between three to $400. But yeah, if we're getting close to $400 on a 4060, surely whatever the 7700 XT or 7700 comes in at cannot be worse. But only time will tell, especially considering they're falling far short of their meager performance expectations to begin with. But now let's go ahead and move on to the second story. And guys, this one is a big one. So you're definitely going to want to make sure to pay attention here because it looks like some next generation GPUs could definitely have been canceled if these leaks and rumors are to be believed, which once again, this is coming from all the watts. So again, take it with a grain of salt. I don't necessarily know how good his track record has been yet, but if it is to be believed, then it looks like some upcoming AMD refresh GPUs could have been canceled. Now we will talk about the RTX 40 series super refresh briefly as well, as I do think this could actually have a knock on effect to that and whether or not that's going to be happening is definitely going to be up in the air as well. But according to all the watts, here's what he had to say about this new dire update. Now this is in response to a tweet he posted over on December 12th, where he shared that apparently N33 was gonna have similar hardware bugs to N31, and it was too late to fix them, and then N32 and Phoenix mostly would fix them, and then RDNA 3 Plus would be a full true fix. And of course, if you don't know, RDNA 3 Plus was a rumored refresh of the RDNA 3 series that would slightly improve the performance by fixing some of the hardware bugs that were present, unfortunately, in the RDNA 3 GPUs and are, in theory, limiting their performance, who knows, anywhere from like 5 to 10%. Then you add in some extra clock speeds and maybe a little bit of IPC. And hey, you could be talking about a 20 plus percent jump in this refresh of GPUs. And if the price is good, it could have been amazing. But unfortunately, yes, according to all the watts, if you choose to to believe him, it looks like that might not be the case as he says, quote, 
All RDNA 3 refresh cancel. That's right, not even canceled, cancel. And then he actually goes on to say, all RDNA 3 SKU misperform and efficient target. RDNA 3 bad all platform. Jensen win. And of course, if you don't know, Jensen Huang is actually the CEO of NVIDIA. And apparently, according to all the watts, he has won. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say that it's a little bit too early to call whether or not NVIDIA or AMD, quote unquote, won this generation. I mean, there's a lot of ways to look at that in terms of market share. Yeah, NVIDIA is definitely going to win. They're definitely going to outsell AMD. D, but in terms of mind share, who's going to win? Well, that's still up in the air as AMD, if they come in with very, very aggressive pricing on the rest of their SKUs and start to drop pricing, well, then maybe they could win the mind share, especially if they fix some of the bugs in their current GPUs and get better drivers out that give you additional performance. And maybe, hey, they'll go ahead and unlock stuff like more power tool. But for now, it looks like that stuff has not yet occurred. So this is definitely bad news, guys, as I personally just love new GPUs. I like to see as many launches as humanly possible. I want to get my hands all over up inside them. And of course, this could actually have a bad knock on effect on Nvidia as well, because if the RDNA 3 refresh is canceled, there is a chance that Nvidia won't feel the necessity to bring out the RTX 40 super cards. Now, will they do it? They definitely still could if they do want to move sales on the RTX 30 series. But if they don't feel pressured and the RTX 40 series does sell well, then I would expect them to not go ahead and do that. But now let's go ahead and move on to the final story, guys. And this one's yet another big update for AMD. So definitely pay attention if you're interested in purchasing one of those cards or maybe even already have one. As it looks like AMD could be dropping support for the RX 6000 series already. Oh my god! Well, actually, guys... Personally, I don't think that's true, but I have seen some panic about this online as it looks like they haven't been updating their drivers for the RX 6000 series for a little while now, which is definitely very concerning. And if we take a look at a HardwareTimes.com article, we can see here that they say, quote, AMD released the Adrenaline Edition 23.1.2 graphics drivers today for the Radeon RX 7900 series graphics cards. And at first, this update is squarely targeting the RDNA 3 family, leaving out the older Radeon RX 6000 and 5000 offerings. This is highly unusual as AMD's latest graphics drivers are solely for two newly released SKUs, making them largely ceremonial. Of course, this doesn't mean that driver support for older generations has been shelved. We're likely looking at a staggered release as for the GPU hierarchy. And I definitely have to agree with him there. I do think there is some cause for concern here, guys, but I don't think we should panic too much. I do believe the AMD will continue to support the RX 6000 series and 5000 series for quite some time now. I know that they do have a history of going ahead and supporting their cards for quite a long time, especially when it came like the RX 580 and stuff like that. So I wouldn't be too concerned. But yes, if you have slightly older GPUs, you could be getting maybe slightly less priority when it comes to those drivers going forward if this is any indication of how things are going to be in the future, which that is definitely very, very concerning. And I do want to see AMD do a little bit better when it comes to their driver support for the rest of 2023. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.